Hey film fans, my name is David, this is Film Collector Archive, and today we're talking Jerry Anderson. For those that are not familiar with the name Jerry Anderson, this gentleman is an absolute beast when it comes to the history of animation and specifically with kind of sort of a form of stop motion animation. So of course we have traditional 2D animation, we have 3D animation, stop motion, and then the corner of the market that he really pioneered was for marionette uh, puppet animation. Um, so it's really, it's a really peculiar uh, corner of the market that he mastered and something that really hasn't been done uh, by anyone else or um, and, and certainly not to the to the level um, uh, that he did it. Um, now on today's video we're going to be focusing on two uh, TV series that came from Jerry Anderson but before we get to that the entry point for most people myself included uh, for those that are not familiar with his work or maybe that are coming into his work, uh, that entry point is very likely going to be uh, his TV show Thunderbirds. Now Thunderbirds ran from 1965 through 1966 and as far as I know this is the only offering currently on uh, Blu-ray. So we have a, a, a standard Amore case collection here and it does include a couple of extra features. Um, the episodes look great, so this is all around a great offering uh, on the show, and if you catch it at the right time, there's actually been some really great deals uh, on Amazon. I can't remember off the top of my head what I picked this set up for, but it is well worth it, and a really great, again, entry point if you're interested in the work of Jerry Anderson. So there's the TV show proper, and then also... Uh, there were two uh, feature-length uh, feature films centered around Thunderbirds. Now this is offered by Kino Lorber, and this is a double feature of Thunderbirds Are Go and Thunderbirds 6. Um, now Thunderbirds Are Go was from 1966, and then Thunderbirds 6 was from 1968. So these came after the run of the uh, television show and uh, are very much worth having in the collection as well if you're a Jerry Anderson fan. Um, in terms of the offering from Kino Lorber here, you can see there are some uh, extra features included, um, but just a, just a great double feature offering here, uh, each film uh, coming on their own disc in this case. Now, the sets that I'm going to be going over with you today come from a label out of the UK called Network. Now, I'm very new to the work of Network and um, the work of Network. Uh, and thank heavens I was introduced uh, by my friend uh, Nathan Jones. Um, and I recently brought in uh, the story of film and the uh, 60 or 7 to 63 up and uh, 63 up series. Sorry, I'm looking over here at my shelf for reference. Um, so that was my entry point to network, and I, I brought those titles in. And then I noticed um, several other titles that I was interested in, and a really amazing offering. Uh, from them on some Jerry Anderson uh, content. So first I want to show you, and this is just kind of to segue into the actual sets that we're going to be taking a look at today, but um, show you this. This is basically a double feature uh, of documentaries around uh, the work of Jerry Anderson. So here we have filmed in Super Marionation and also, as a second feature, down here it's noted you get this is Super Marionation. Um, so that's the 
uh, that's the film style that he, the phrase that was coined for uh, Jerry Anderson's work, or the you have you have cinescope and these different things. Well, this is uh, super marionation, and here again you get a two disc offering, uh, one disc for each of the films, and so yeah, so this offers a a, a look at the work of Jerry Anderson and more. Um, the uh, who, who Jerry Anderson was as a as a person and and obviously his art. Um, so this is offered by Network, but what really caught my eye was their offering on two uh, what they're calling deluxe uh, deluxe edition limited edition sets of uh, two Jerry Anderson uh, television shows now. As far as I understand, th this is what uh, his his first output in terms of television and the shows that he would do. Uh, so first up, we have uh, Jerry Anderson's Supercar, the complete series. Now the interesting thing here, so so Thunderbirds is in color. Um, both of these series, so the first here being Supercar. Are actually uh, black and white. Now, Supercar ran from 1961 through 1962, and you can see here we have a really nice um, large box set offering here. Um, and I'm trying to see on the back here. So this is a Region B offering. So that is something to be aware of. I cover a lot of Region B material on this channel, so you'll either have to have a region B player or, like myself, have a region free player, which is the route that I would definitely suggest. Um, but yeah, first up here we have a Supercar, and the second um, the second offering from Network here we have is Fireball XL5. So we just have the XL5 marking here on the cover, um, but this uh, came directly after Supercar and ran from 1962 through 1963. Um, so there was a one year gap between uh, this and then when uh, Thunderbirds started. And again, this, this series is also in black and white um, and uh, yeah, is, is offered also in this really nice box set here. Now. I think it's really interesting. I, for some reason, with with animation, yes, we have um, we have the work of we have the work of Ray Harryhausen, and he had some films that he did, he did in black and white. But in general, thinking of animation and black and white is is kind of a funny thing um, but I'm a huge fan of black and white films and so it's it's kind of this interesting uh, meshing of of animation and the black and white film or television medium um, so I'm really excited to dive into these sets and we're basically going to be having a double unboxing here um, so what I'd like to do is switch over to the other camera and we'll go ahead and get these unboxed so that you can see what's on the inside and make an informed decision on if this is a purchase that you would like to make for your collection. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into this. Uh, we'll be unboxing both of these sets, but first up here we have uh, Supercar, the complete series. And as you can see here, we, we have a really large box set presentation here, um, which is really cool. I'm not sure how uh, limited this run is on these uh, particular sets, uh, but boy, I am, I am glad I jumped on the opportunity to get these. Um, had no idea of their offering and really just kind of stumbled across uh, across them. So here we have, uh, it's basically just a, you just pull the top off the box here. Kind of slowly let it, there we go. All right, so this is 
a really nice uh, sturdy box that's included here. So we'll uh, just set that off to the side here and just, yeah, really, really sturdy all the way around. And immediately we're met with uh, a really cool little uh, book here. Don't want to mess up any of the contents in here, but let's uh, take this out. We'll go ahead and set that aside. And wow. Next up we have a goodness gracious, this is a full on uh, book here. Supercar Satisfactory, Most Satisfactory by Andrew Pixley. Let's jump to the back and see. Uh, so it looks like this is probably a, a history on the show. How freaking cool is that? And obviously you can see here a very extensive read. Um, wow, I had no idea. I guess I didn't look over the specs very closely on how extensive this book was that was included. So 248 pages here. Um, so very, very exciting. Let's actually here, I'll, I'll jump back over to this book here that was on the top. So it looks like this is a little, oh, this is fun. So this is a, a comic book. Looks like this is something that was newly produced as uh, kind of a tribute to the show. Uh, so just a short little comic there. There's the front and back on that. All right, so now we can just pull uh, this insert out and really cool. Okay, so another, <laughs> oh, how fun is this? I, I am absolutely loving this. So this is a supercar pilot's license. And there you can fill in your uh, name and address and county. I hereby certify that the holder of this license is a member of the Supercar Club and is authorized to fly Supercar. Uh, signed, Mike Mercury. And then you, over here you have a uh, Supercar Cockpit Drill and Takeoff Procedure, Supercar Specification, and Lucky License Numbers. And then on the back here you have a picture of Supercar. Um, just so freaking cool it, just such a great vintage feel uh, and then here you have your uh, golden wings here from uh, supercar so this is a, a step up from what I got as a kid when I got my wings when I was on a a uh, Delta Airlines plane <laughs> um, but just a uh, gold really actually there's quite a bit of heft to it um, a, a gold supercar pin and finally we have the actual uh, blu-ray uh, set or uh, collection of discs here um, so this is housed actually um, looks like exactly like the Thunderbirds collection that I have on blu-ray so we get a, a standard Amaray case here um, great disc art and then we get I love when they include the uh, episode guide either in booklet form or uh, on the reverse of the cover which is what we have here um, so there is disc one uh, disc two I love that we get different characters different artwork on each of these discs disc three uh, disc four and finally, disc five, and the episode guide continues on the back there with uh, with the disc five, and that is looks like disc five is uh, the special features disc. All right, and then jumping to the back here, uh, there is a an intro or a synopsis to the series, and then a list of special features if you want to read over those and then again as you can see here um, I always like to point out the region coding this is a region B uh, disc or collection all right so let's go ahead and put this all back together wow what what an amazing offering I'm excited to jump over here to the other set but 
this really sets a high bar here. All right, so that is a supercar. Next up, let's bring in the companion set here for Fireball XL5. And uh, pull the, obviously the shrink wrap off of here. I like the cover on this one as well. Um, very, uh, again, just, I, I, I love the Jerry Anderson style and, and just the kind of vintage look and feel here. All right, so again, we will wait and wait and wait here as the top of the box comes off eventually there we go and again set that aside so very similar initial presentation here with a uh, comic and here you can see it's actually a network network comics all right and oh I like the I like the style on this one, if I'm being totally honest, a bit more than the the other one, where this uses actual shots of the the uh, marionette puppets. Dateline 2062. And the comic continues through. And there is the back. All right, so we get another uh, book in this one this is a or no this is not a book I'm sorry this is all right I'm gonna set the box aside because it looks like this is gonna get a bit involved here so this is uh, Jerry Anderson's fireball XL5 scrapbook now if that if that does, is not the coolest vintage look here I don't know what is this is really neat looking so it looks like here we have reproductions of original promotional publicity and merchandising materials all right so the artwork it's kind of a wraparound style and there is the back how awesome is this i'll tell you th these sets are really a big surprise because again i just kind of stumbled across these and man if i would have missed out on these i would have been so bummed all right so here is uh, the inside here, so you get this um, really interesting kind of image of some of the marketing materials. And opening this up further, so this flap here goes up and down there. All right, so first up we have a Century 21 production Fireball XL5 Cloud of a Billion Lights. Um, this is a mini album, 21 plus minutes of adventure so I'm assuming this is a CD uh, which it looks like is the case um, Fireball XL5 Cloud of a Billion Lights mini album so that is a, a CD there so it'll be interesting to pop that in and give that a listen all right, next up we have a, a really nice glossy photo here. Oh, how cool is this? So it looks like an aged uh, kind of postcard with uh, some notes here. Used 3rd of October 1964 TV world, it says here. And then there's a kind of a copyright stamp almost there. So it looks like this is an original or a, a reproduction of an original um photo that was used, uh, publicity or marketing photo that was used, and then it has the original uh, markings there. So really, really neat. Set that aside, and next up we have a, looks like you can make your own little paper uh, Fireball XL5 um, model here, and that's exactly what that is. You can see the perforated edges in there. Um, that is uh, very, very cool. All right, and next up we have a coloring book. Uh, for all you kids out there or you adults who act like kids um, that like maybe a, a good coloring book. 
there you go you get a little guide as to what colors to use color by number and it actually continues so there's the cover but it continues here on the back so that is really cool and then um, you get uh, Walton 8mm home movie Fireball XL5 and then a right up here I'm not sure what this is oh that's just so neat Um, and it looks like this gives a little bit of a, a history. Um, here we have Walton Home Movies. Long before the days of DVD video or downloads, there was a home entertainment format that allowed users to watch films and television series whenever they chose. That format was the 8mm movie. Interesting. So this gives a little bit of a history on 8mm uh, home movies. So really, really cool. And, man, I feel like it's just never-ending cool stuff here and looks like our last last piece here uh, fireball xl5 como sweet cigarette cards so there's that sorry i'm not gonna be able to get the full fold, fold out here in frame uh so-called sweet cigarettes were a popular a form of confectionery in Britain from the 1950s to the 1980s. Laterally rebranded candy sticks, usually packaged to tie in with popular television or film personalities by the early 60s manufacturers, including Como, had scored successes with series including Scooty, Z Cars, uh, Naughty, and Jerry Anderson's Supercar. So that's cool. I do actually remember the the uh, we had we had candy cigarettes in our in our store grocery store as well and then uh, there is the back there so we'll go ahead and uh, put all of the items back in very very cool so the first set we get the nice book and here we get it seems like a million and one little cool little inserts here All right, and let's see if I can get this put together correctly. There's that. So that's the insert there. Now let's get back. Oh, so it looks like we get another. Um, I actually think the other one was like this. I World Space Patrol Astronauts License. Um, with the cool picture there and then yeah same deal here so name and address and county I hereby certify that the holder of this license has obtained their astronaut wings and is certified to fly the XL series spacecraft and uh, let's see commander zero maybe is the name there uh, the signature sorry I'll bring that up here and then you get the uh, holder of this document has completed the following, and then an Excel series specification as well as a note on the astronaut club. And then under here as well, uh, again, we get our wings. And finally, whoop, as I drop the, <laughs> the uh, thing that matters most in here, um, so here we have Jerry Anderson's Fireball XL5, the complete series remastered in HD. There's the spine. And the back, if you want to take a look at the synopsis or special features. And let's just jump into this really quick. So there is disc one. Disc two. Disc three. Disc four and finally disc five. And on this one as well, you can see here we get the episode guide. Um, 
Wow, what an incredible set. And yeah, nothing uh, nothing on the back. And actually, it does look like this one. They have uh, oriented that that way. All right, our inserts. And we are done with this one as well. So just completely blown away by the quality of these sets. I want to mention as well that uh, Network did an extremely good job on shipping these. They came in their own individual boxes within the shipping box. So they were, they were kind of custom boxed. Like they came that way straight out of the factory. Um, I don't have that here to show you, but very, very well packaged. These came from the UK all the way here to Arizona in the States, and they are in absolutely perfect condition. So here we have Fireball XL5 and Supercar. Very, very happy to have these in the collection. I am really glad that I was able to bring these sets to the collection and to offer up uh, a little bit of information on the work of Jerry Anderson. I'm hoping that this will just be a springboard for you to go do uh, some research on your own. I assure you it is worth your time. I love the work of Jerry Anderson and Thunderbirds has always been a real treat to go back to over the years. And I'm really excited to jump into these two series, uh, Supercar and uh, Fireball XL5. Um, Really excited to see what uh, these shows have to offer. And again, just really grateful to have them in the collection. Now, let me know down in the comments if you are familiar with Jerry Anderson. Maybe he's one of your all-time favorites. Let me know your favorite of his series. Is it Thunderbirds? Is it one of these series? Um, definitely let me know. And until next time, let's keep the conversation on film alive and well.